Hello, uh, this is the concluding part of the tut tutorial. Uh, my name is uh, Krishnaram Kentapadi. Let's uh, recap what we discussed so far. Uh, we first motivated the need for explainable AI from business modeling and regulatory perspectives. Then we discussed some of the challenges in uh, scaling explainable AI techniques in practice. In the second part, we gave an overview of uh, different classes of explainable machine learning techniques. So these can be subdivided into techniques for building intrinsically interpretable models, as well as uh, techniques for uh, providing post hoc explanations to black box models. For the latter, we further subdivided into uh, techniques for explaining the prediction of a model, which is about uh, providing explanation for one instance at a time versus techniques for explaining the performance of a model as a whole. In the third part, we discussed a few case studies from industry spanning many different uh, domains and uh, applications. Now let's uh, discuss some of the open problems and research challenges in this field. One of the challenges uh, is the lack of standard interface for machine learning models. As a result, uh, th this makes it harder to plug explanations into the various machine learning models and systems. So another challenge is that uh, the explanation needs could vary depending on the type of user. Uh, for, for, for instance, the kind of explanation that we might provide to a machine learning engineer or a data scientist is very different from the kind of explanation that we might provide to a lay person or the end user of the system. The third challenge is that the algorithm that we might uh, need for explanation quite often depends on the use case, the model type, data format and so forth, bringing its own uh, challenges in up deploying these techniques in practice. Finally, there are intrinsic trade-offs between explainability, model performance or accuracy, uh, fairness and privacy. Uh, for example, how do we provide explanations without leaking the privacy of the users? How do we provide uh, explanations while ensuring that the accuracy of the model is not hurt? And so forth. More broadly, there are uh, we can uh, consider some of the following challenges. Uh, so one broad challenge is uh, to provide actionable explanations. By this we mean that uh, the end user should be able to benefit and uh, and perform some action uh, from the explanation. Uh, let's uh, illustrate with an example. Suppose that a user has applied for a loan and has been denied the loan. Uh, it will be desirable if the explanation can be in the form of an actionable recourse. Uh, that is the, the explanation can suggest what the user needs to do to qualify for the loan in future. The second is um, about the need for balancing between explanations and model secrecy. Recent work has shown that uh, explanations can sometimes leak information about the model parameters and the internals of the model. How do we provide robust explanations which are uh, uh, not, which do not leak the secrecy of the model? The third challenge is about uh, in ensuring that the explanations are robust. Uh, so this can be in terms of robustness to different failure modes um, arising from the interaction between various machine learning components in a real system, or it can be in, in the form of uh, robustness to adversarial attacks. How do we ensure that uh, the explanations cannot be fooled through adversarial attacks? Or conversely, how do we ensure that we can trust the explanations uh, which could have been generated in an adversarial manner uh, to fool the end user. The, the fourth bucket is in, the, in terms of the application specific challenges. Uh, for example, in the case of conversational AI systems, we would 
like the explanations to be contextual. Uh, by, by this we mean that the explanations have to depend on the previous conversation of the user as well as on uh, other environmental factors such as uh, the location of the user or the time of the day uh, and, and so forth. Uh, if I, and also on a related note, we would like to provide a gradation of explanations. Uh, the explanations that we might provide to a lay user may need to be different from the explanations we provide to someone like a compliance officer or someone like a model developer or machine learning engineer. Finally, we would like to build tools for providing explanations across the AI lifecycle. This can be both during model training or during a data analysis, or this can also be once the models have been deployed to understand the, how the model behaves in practice. Uh, so further, these tools can be targeted either for the model developer or to other types of users such as uh, the end user or uh, someone ch checking the system for complaints and uh, 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 auditing needs and so forth. So with this, uh, we, we would like to conclude the tutorial. Uh, once again, uh, please take a look at the tutorial webpage for the slides as well as uh, more information about the tutorial and please feel free to reach out to any of us uh, to give any feedback and I would encourage all of you to, uh, to, to, to go deeper into this field especially since this is an emerging field and uh, hopefully this tutorial has uh, illustrated the, the benefit of this field as well as the need for investing more in in the space of explainability in machine learning. Thank you.